Hi, I'm Cindy Scurlock, president of the Turner Syndrome Society of the United States, and I'm gonna be covering growth in puberty as explained within the clinical practice guidelines for care of women and girls with Turner Syndrome. So because this is available for free on our website and you can download it or you can um, order a copy, I'm not gonna read from it because um, it's pretty self-explanatory what it says. I'm gonna come more from an angle of how do you make these decisions when you're partnering with your doctor? You know, sometimes your doctor doesn't um, have the same insights as other people that have had experiences with making these decisions. So that's kind of where this video is gonna come from. So growth in Turner syndrome, the recommendations internationally from TS specialists say that if all things considered, you should give growth hormone therapy to your daughter to promote growth. It lessens physical um, limitations, and um, they've just found that overall, based on research, that it seems like the best um, best idea. It's it's recommended that you you seriously consider that. Um, as a parent, I remember thinking, "Oh my gosh, you know, I can't can't give my daughter a shot. I can't give my daughter a shot every day for ten years. Like, there's no way." We adapt, we do. Um, you learn little tricks and, you're, and you're, your kids get used to it. So it becomes part of their life. Um, the, the exciting part is, is once you start to see progress and you know your, your daughter starts growing out of clothes and out of shoes, it, she gets excited as well. That's most of you know, what most people would say that have gone through this process. So um, I remember way back in the day, since my daughter is now over 20, um, I was given some pamphlets and said, well, decide which growth hormone you want to give. And that was overwhelming. I looked through, you know, what are the side effects of each one, read the fine print, and um, I was so overwhelmed. What a huge decision. Um, only to find out that really what mattered, I mean, the basic differences of the medications were how it was delivered. So it's an injection. So that means that um, the device that actually helps get the the drug into the skin is the difference between most most medications. There are some very subtle differences um, as far as like which salines are used and different things now, but for the most part, um, that is the main main difference. So rest assured that nowadays you don't have to make that tough decision. Um, as as times change, so does so do your options. Oftentimes, your your insurance will dictate which growth hormone you're gonna be able to give. Um, and sometimes it's not even that easy. Sometimes you really have to fight and prove that um, it's necessary for your daughter, um, it's not cosmetic, and that it's it's needed. Um, even at that, sometimes your, your insurance companies might fight that or you might not get the drug that you feel would be best for her. You can call our office and we'll help you work through some of those things. Um, that's what we do. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. As far as why I was reading all the fine print, um, you know, we worry. What are the side effects? What are what should we be most worried about? And um, the good news is, so many um, research studies have been done specific to Turner syndrome and growth hormone therapy that um, it's 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 safe. You know, we wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't safe. International doctors wouldn't recommend it. Um, so the, the, the safety and the efficacy is there. Um, obviously, it's, it's prescribed by a doctor. So you will, your daughter will be followed by a doctor to go through all the recommendations of the dosage. And, um, and then you as a parent, your part is to make sure that she gets the injection every day. Um, you know, how, what are the expectations of how, how your daughter will grow? It's, it's really dependent on her genetics and how she responds to the drugs. So um, it's not uncommon for some girls to grow, you know, like four inches once they start growth hormone in that first year that they have it. Um, and then there's others that just simply don't respond like they should and eventually end up not taking it. Um, there's also the chance that, you know, somebody could respond really well and then over time um, their hormone levels get too high or for whatever reason they have to um, decrease that level. 
So that's why it is so important to um, do exactly, you know, what your doctor says, and then also um, to keep those appointments to make sure that that the growth is is on track. And if not, it can be adjusted. So. Um, Dosages are suggested to be given every day. It used to be old school that you would take a day off um, on a weekend just because why not? Like if you don't have to give it seven times, just give it six. But when you add up one day a week, you know, over a full year, that's a lot of dosages that are missed. And there's only a short amount of time um, that it can be given. So for instance, once the growth you, you realize that your daughter is not growing and she's not keeping up with her peers, um, then it's usually initiated at that time. When does it stop? Well, that'll be up to you and your doctor, but usually around um, the time that her growth plates, which are um, measured by, um, it's like an x-ray of their hands, their, of, of the bones in the hand. And once the bones don't have any more room to grow, then um, that's typically when growth hormone is stopped. It could be at the age of you know 13, it could be 15, um, it, it really just depends. One of the things that has been um, researched quite heavily is estrogen therapy along with growth hormone therapy. So old school used to say um, you don't start estrogen until you stop growth hormone therapy. And that was very limiting and um, oftentimes, you know, it, it just wasn't fitting the needs of our, of our youth. So now it's just suggested that you start puberty um, at the appropriate time, regardless of where you are with your growth hormone therapy.